Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Let's look at our questions from last week. So I wanted to know, what does the monkey find? So let's take a look at our book. What does the monkey find? We can see here, the monkey says, I find this lion. Okay, so that means we can write here, what does the monkey find? He finds a lion. Now, what about two more things that he finds? What else does he find? Let's go back to our story here. So he finds a lion. What else? He says, I find this turtle. Cool. Okay. So we can say he finds a turtle. Now, one more thing. What else does he find? Let's take a look here. Over here, he says, I find this bird. Ah, okay. So we can write here. He finds a bird. So what does the monkey find? He finds a lion. He finds a turtle. And he finds a bird. If those were your answers, good job. You are correct. Now let's take a look at today's story. Today's story is called The Wonder of Wheels. And it goes a little bit like this. The Wonder of Wheels. People want to build a table. They need wood. They need tools. Tools are kept in a toolbox. Wood and tools are heavy. How will they carry wood and tools? They can use a wagon. A wagon has wheels. The wagon moves on its wheels. The wheels turn around and around. It is easy to move a wagon. People go shopping. They buy many kinds of food. They buy cereal and fruits. They buy milk and juice. How can they carry the food around the store? Hmm. They can use a shopping cart. A shopping cart has wheels. A shopping cart moves on its wheels. The wheels turn around and around. A shopping cart is easy to move. Some children live far from school. It is too far to walk. How can they get to school? They must find a way to get there. They can ride on a school bus. The school bus has wheels. The bus goes to school on its wheels. The wheels turn around and around. The bus takes the children to school. Wheels turn around and around. Wheels help us carry things from place to place. Wheels help, move, help people move from place to place. What else can wheels do? The end. Now, I hope you like that story because I have three questions for you today. My first question is, what is heavy? What is heavy? Hmm. My next question is, how does a shopping cart move? How does a shopping cart move? And my last question for today is, where do some children 
live. Hmm, have a think about it. Read the story again, and I'll give you the answers next week. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.